John Jenkinson with you on this Tuesday as we go through the markets here. We're still on the higher side, but uh, pull back a little bit from some of the earlier highs in the corn market. July up three and a quarter right now. Uh, we're at 392 and a quarter, got as high as 399. December corn is up four and a quarter at 408 and three quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. The um, July soybean contract is up four and a quarter at 836. November soybeans up four and three quarters. Over in the Chicago wheat market, the July is up three and a quarter at 481 and a half. And on the, the Kansas City July wheat market, we're up six pennies right now at 440 and a half. Let's welcome in Todd Horowitz. He's with Bubba Trading and he joins us now. Okay, Todd, um, with the markets taking this kind of a, a rally here over the last six, seven days, is it uh, is it is it just kind of one of those deals where somebody would get into the rut of wanting to chase these markets? Is it is that a lure to, to seeing things like this? Good morning, John. You know, we've all heard of the fear of missing out. And of course, once they get started, you know, nobody wants to miss the train. And of course, you see that push higher and that push higher. And we've gone basically, if you ever take a look at chart, a chart of corn, for example, you've got a parabolic move that goes from here to here straight. The markets don't trade like that. So it would only be natural to expect a little bit of a sell off from here. And I'd be very surprised if December week didn't come back down to four dollars and test that as a support level. I wouldn't be surprised if the markets close lower today. And that doesn't make them bearish. That's just be, when you get so many buyers trying to accumulate. Remember, we talked about this before it kind of happened. There could be a short covering rally and we'd see people start to chase them up. And that's what we saw here. So they're very positive now and they've broken out, but they do need to do some work. If this rally is going to continue, you would expect to see a pullback because now that all what we'll call the weak hands, the fear of missing out people that chased them up, are going to now get rid of them because they're going to get nervous when they start going lower. And then you'll get an opportunity to buy again, I think. But I do think the lows are in. I think we continue to go higher. And I think we, we're, we're, on our, we're on our way much higher from here. And Todd, you, you mentioned that. And sure enough, we certainly are pulling back from some of the earlier highs. Do you think some of this is due to farmer selling also? Probably. I mean, you know, listen, any of them that held, you know, through all the turmoil and all the bad things, you know, now they're getting paid a little bit to get rid of some of that. So that could be. But I would say this is more of some people trying to jump in and, and, and that, that had already bought and, and the, the last of the chasing. So the own weight will bring the markets down a little bit and down to another support level. But I'm sure that some of the farmers and producers are selling some things there because, of course, they just gained 15 or 16 percent on corn and about 20 percent on wheat in the last eight days. OK, thank you very much for that uh, explanation, Todd. Certainly appreciate your insight on this. Todd Horowitz here with us, a part of the RFD TV and Rural Radio family. And when we come back, we'll talk about the livestock trade next and get an update on the last week's pork cutouts. That's straight ahead here on the Market Day Report.